Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're taking a closer look at some of the Mario items coming soon to New Horizons and how they can be interacted with. It's a fun one, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So just a few days ago, the latest Animal Crossing trailer revealed at least 33 all new Super Mario themed furniture and clothing items that will be added to New Horizons in the next update. The update is scheduled to release on February 25th, so later next week, but the Mario items won't be distributed until March 1st. These will likely be time locked anyway, but we don't have long to wait. Now we've pretty much covered all of the items that will be added in the update already, or at least the ones we know about based on international trailers and news articles, but I thought it'd be fun to take a closer look at some of the items in detail, particularly the interactive ones. As demonstrated in the trailer, some of these Super Mario themed items can of course be interacted with and either move and animate in a fun way or play a unique sound effect which is really cool. From the trailer alone we know of 8 items so far that can be interacted with. The first is of course the Super Mushroom, which when interacted with plays the classic power up sound effect. The Mushroom also has a slight bouncing animation too, which is pretty fun. The second interactive item shown off in the trailer is the Coin, which is a vital part of any Super Mario game. When interacted with, you can actually run through these items as if you're collecting them, at which point plays a coin collected sound effect, which is really neat. Of course, as you collect the coin, you see a nice burst of sparkly stars, but the coolest feature of this particular coin item is that they respawn and can be interacted with straight away again and again. Immediately after seeing the coin, we see the Mario character interacting with a question mark block by doing the traditional run in circles run, which for anyone who has regular visitors to their island will know, is usually the universal code for follow me. Anyway, by interacting with it and actually running underneath the question mark block, the block animates in such a way as if you've jumped to hit it and collect a coin. It seems you can do this as many times as you like with each time the block playing the coin collect sound effect. At the same time this is happening in the trailer, we see Luigi interacting with an item for the first time. If a player interacts with the superstar, you can see the star jump and spin, whilst the whole time letting off little star particles. It's very difficult to hear, but the superstar also plays the invincible sound effect too, much like it did in past games. Unfortunately, it seems the player doesn't flash though, like in previous installments of Animal Crossing, or how Mario does in the game, but still, it's pretty cool. Moving on, the next interactive Super Mario item is the Thwomp, which just like in Super Mario, pretty much stops you from moving forward. When you approach the Thwomp block, it will drop down and block your path, whilst playing a smashing or colliding sound effect and pulling a very angry face. Given this type of interaction with this item, you can never actually walk underneath it, but it will still be cool to place around our islands and may be good for protecting those precious pumpkin patches. Another interactive item is none other than the shell, which again plays a very familiar sound effect which usually indicates the shell is hitting things. Once pressed, the shell will do a spinning animation on the spot. Don't worry, it won't bounce around your island or take out your villagers. One of the last interactive items we see in the trailer is of course the warp pipe, which allows you to stand on it and be teleported or warped to another pipe in a different location. Whilst you're being sucked into this strange new mechanic, it plays the classic pipe sound as it transports you. If you listen really closely, you can also hear a little falling sound as well. I guess this item is more of a doorway feature than an interaction, but still really cool. The final interactive item shown off in the trailer is of course the goal pole or flag pole that when interacted with switches out which flag is on display. It plays a smooth little transition sound effect too, which is really awesome. Now that's 8 items in total that seem to be fully interactive, but no doubt most if not all of them are in some way or another. For example, the fire flower, which we only see on screen for a split second, will probably play the fireball sound effect and things like that. Now, it's not known right now if you have to be dressed as a Super Mario character or at least be wearing one of the Mario clothing items in order to actually interact with these, but I highly doubt it. It would seem strange to limit something like that, but for those kind of details we'll have to wait and see. So there we have it, that's 8 interactive items from the Super Mario crossover furniture that will be available from the promotions tab in the Nook shopping app in a couple of weeks. 
but what do you think about these small details? Do you like having a hint of Mario in New Horizons, or would you rather some more traditional furniture? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe, as I'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I literally couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too, and of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment star, just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome, and please be sure to include which Super Mario item is your favourite, I'd love to know. For me, it's the coin. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining, please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.